Okay, today we're looking at the new Conso Premier Model P2339RB. It's a double needle machine which comes standard in a quarter inch gauge. And uh, it's a walking foot machine which is also known as a triple feed. And we're going to demonstrate exactly what walking foot is. The first thing we're going to point out is the feed dog. If you watch the feed dog, it's coming up in the front. It's going to travel the length and then it's going to drop below the needle plate. And this is called drop feed. The second thing we're going to have you look at is the needle itself. The needle goes down with the feed dog. And now as the feed dog is traveling in the up position, the needles travel with it. And that is called needle feed. And finally, what we're going to show is the center foot. I'm going to let the center foot down. We're going to watch the center foot. The needle's going to go through the center foot. The center foot is going to lift the outside foot. And the combination between the needle feed, the drop feed, and the alternating presser foot, which is the center toe, constitutes a walking foot machine or a triple feed machine. And this gives you both top and bottom feed and be able to keep the fabric so they don't slip so you get pull on the bottom and pull on the top actually get a double pull on the top and you can do heavier goods with this. This machine is a federal stitch number 301. It's a double needle so it makes it a double 301. It's designed for medium to heavy sewing, uh, some a little more heavier. The thread is typically used on this machine is from a size Tex 46 up to around a Tex 207. You can't exceed these uh, sizes, uh, but may be some modifications that are required. Needles are typically used as a 16 size up to a size 24. The system is a, is a 135X17, and of course the size 16 or, or 24. Most commonly used is size 22, that's an upholstery size uh, needle. Okay, so first thing we need to make sure we have correctly is threading and the tensions. So we're going to address this now with the double needle machine. We're going to open this up, open our doors up here for the bobbins, and we're going to pop out the bobbin here. And sometimes it helps to have a have something like a little, a little something you can get your finger under here for the, to pop it out. A pair of scissors helps you kind of pop that out if you don't have long fingernails and that just pops out like this. Now on the left hand side it's a mirror to the right hand side but it's kind of backwards so you have to pay attention to what you're doing. There's a slot here. You see the slot. The slot is angled in this direction and uh, we're going to come off of that slot like this. We're going to actually go into the slot like this. So we're going to drop this in, now we're going to hold the bobbin in place, get the thread started around here, get it started here, and then we're going to pull it past, very important that you pull it past this part here, because that's going to make it get down into the tension and release this. We'll just cut a short tail here, so leave that out of the way. We'll do the other side, just pop it up, oh, I got my fingernail under here, pull this out, here we go. Same thing. We've got a you have a bobbin slot here. This is slanted. We're going to go cross grain to that to this groove right here, and we'll drop this in. Come on around. Hold the bobbin in place with your finger. Pull it, and now we can see on this side inside here there is a spring that's located right here, and we can adjust that spring with this screw right here. There's a screw that's located right there, and there's a screw that's here that uh, you can actually uh, remove this piece to, uh, if you have to re replace the uh, bobbin uh, tension spring. So we can add, add uh, tension here or subtract it. So what I normally like to do is once you get it inside the tension, I like to just pull it. And what you want is kind of a medium pull, maybe a little more than medium. Let's just say a medium pull, not too light, not too heavy. Same thing over here, you want to kind of pull back in this direction, and you want to make sure that each, each of the bobbins are set at the same tension level. Once your bobbin tensions are set, 
we're pretty complete in here. So we want to go ahead and close these doors up. And now the top thread, let's go ahead and pull the top thread out. And on both sides, because it's a little different when we get down to the needle. But also, uh, uh, we want to show this. So, so let's just pull both top tensions out. We're going to start up here. Now, on, on this machine, it has a unique feature here. It has a tension release that's located right here that will release my tension. Okay, and it also has a tension release when you lift your pressure foot up. It releases the tensions. You can see that it's releasing it. Or you can release the tensions back here by using this. So we're lifting our pressure feet both here and on our knee, but this is a quick release, which is a neat feature for this, this, on, on this machine. So now we're just going to pull our threads out, and we'll start the fun part. So I usually start with one. And that way, uh, when I go back with the second one, we're good. So up here, we've got a series of, of little holes. I like to always cut around here in the S shape. So that I go in one, I kind of come up and around into the other. And that, that helps keep, take some of the body out of the thread as it comes down. We've got a little guide here that we're going to go through and a pretensioner. So we're going to run through the pretensioner here. And we're going to come around this post. And into our tensions. It's going to keep coming down around that tension inside that tension. And we're going to go catch that back slot, which is located back here. And, and there's a click that it comes past right here that's going to catch your check spring. So your check spring is right here. Now we're going to, come, we're going to go on up with this. Pull some slack out, and we're going to come up through this guide, outer guide, and we're going to take the top one. There's two holes in the take-up lever. Come on down, just pop it through these, and let's take the uh, outside needle. So we'll go through here, and the needle, typically on a single needle, your scarf is position straight here. On a double needle, it's complete opposite. Your scarf is faced out towards here. So now we're going to thread the opposite direction from right to left. And we're just going to pull that back out of the way. Okay, so do the same. Let's repeat this. I'm going to go in and in back through a little opening guide here. around our pretension. Around our pretension here. And we're going to go down around, around this piece. And we're going to go back over this post. And then we're going to come down and go through the second check spring which is here, and we have a click. There it is. We go past this little piece. This little, little piece is right here. It's going to pass. Again, we're going to go up through the guy's lower hole for your take-up lever. Straight down through. Keep the thread separated if you can. Then we'll go straight down through the needle hole on the needle bar clamp. And straight through the needle this way. Sometimes it'll sneak around the bottom of the needle like it just did. So we want to make sure that that's good to go. All right, so we got the top and bottom. So now we're going to start sewing. So you, you can uh, start off a, a number of different ways. Um, one way is you can hold your top threads when you start like this. 
just make sure that when you start you hold it for a couple stitches or uh, you can actually take and allow for the thread to kind of come back and it's being held by the by your presser foot. So we want to start off to make a few stitches, get it going. Now we've got some excess thread. We can we can go ahead and sew past that and make sure that we go ahead and get those threads out of the way. So now that we won't sew back on the threads if we're doing something nice. And here we go. So when I'm looking at my stitch, as you can see, you can't really see the, bob the bobbin thread on either side. On the back side, you can't see the bobbin thread. So you've got the knot in the middle. So if, if we were seeing the knot on top, we're going to loosen our threads. If we're seeing that little knot on the bottom, we're going to tighten and bring that knot up. So we've got it set pretty good now. So here's a couple layers of vinyl. Going down to a single layer of vinyl. Back to the double layer. Now we're going to get interesting with some seams. Climb over these seams. This is a, this is a typical type thing you'll be doing when you're sewing is climbing over seams and uh, this is a, is a pretty good uh, healthy piece of fabric so we're going to sew back through this walk over this a few times and we'll go back to our single layer and we're going to make this four layers now There's those piece, pieces of thread that I didn't cut off. Get these out of the way. So there's four layers. We're going to go back to two layers and continue to sew. our reverse. We can back tack by using our reverse. So it's very easy to use your reverse. Back to the four layer. And we're going to make this a little more interesting now. So we're going to go over an eight, eight layer seam. Back to another Eight layer seam. And let's go back to this. Reverse over your seam. As you can see, we're going through a, a pretty good amount of plies here. We can probably throw another piece on top in here and challenge the machine, but I think we're getting the idea. Machines designed to run all day at full speed. So now we're going to talk about the f features of the P2339RB, the new Premier console machine. So it has a reverse lever here, so for, all, for your back tack. You have a double needle machine that has the drop-in bobbin features, so you can drop your bobbins in easily. Uh, there are large hooks, large bobbins. The bobbin size in pre-wound is the size U. You have an adjustable stitch length here. You can adjust your stitches real easy. It has a locking feature, which is really good because 
if you don't have a locking feature, it has a tendency to want to change stitches the faster that you're going. So you can push the locking feature and you can change your stitches very easily here. Maximum stitch length is 2.8 stitches. And we can adjust it all the way from, a, say, a 9 to 2.8 stitches per inch all the way down to a 1, which is a very short stitch. So we typically keep it at about 5 stitches per inch, which is right here. The tension release is something that's a little unique on this machine. Typically, when you re lift your pressure foot back up here, it releases your tension. If you want to look at the tension here, you can see, see how the tension is moving just so slightly, and that releases your top tension, so now you can pull your fabric out of the way. Also, you can do this with your knee. As you lift your knee lift up, it actually releases the tension if we watch the watch the tension up here as I do my knee. But a really unique feature about this machine is, is it has a release button right here. So we can actually come and we don't have to lift our presser foot all the way, which engages it. We can just push the button here and it releases it quickly. So you have a quick release right here for the tension release. So we have a, an oiling system on this machine that is a semi-automatic oiling system. Uh, utilizes a wick feeding system with a reservoir that's located right here with a, a, a indicator where you fill up and it helps oil the whole top head. You have some small places to oil which are marked. As we tilt the machine back, we're going to notice that we have a, a pump pickup here. This is an oil pickup that uh, oils the bottom side of the machine and there's uh, there's wicks that come over and pipes that come over to your hook assembly, which actually oils your hook. And you have two micro valves that you can adjust so that you can uh, vary the amount of hook the, or the, the oil that comes to the hook. You have a self-contained oiling system here with a pan that recycles the oil. We have a belt drive, so the top shaft and the bottom shaft has got a belt set on the cog. On the end of the cog we have a safety clutch. Come on around and take a look at the safety clutch. And uh, this is a unique feature here that whenever you break a needle and you jam the machine up really good, then this whole shaft will not move. And then uh, the belt and the rest of the machine will continue to move. So it has a, a button on the top here that you push to engage once you've cleaned out your hook or whatever you've got jammed up over there. And uh, just turn the hand wheel, it will re-engage the safety clutch right here. Okay, this is the, this, this, this is called a barrel type uh, stitch regulator. Uh, it's, a, it's a more modern design in terms of the way it works. Gives you a little bit longer stitch length because of the design of it. We have a locking feature here on your slide plate. Sometimes the slides plates uh, want to have a tendency to want to work their way out, so we have a little locking feature here. We already have some screw holes made here for your attachments. If you're putting a binder, folder, or something in the front here, we've got that. Speed of this machine is, a, is governed around 2600. Now, that all depends on your thread, your material, and the step of your pressure feet. So uh, 2,600 stitches a minute. Standard workspace here, about 10 and a half inch. The uh, bed space is a cutout is designed for a two needle cutout. On the back here, I want to come around to the back right here. You'll see there's a nut here with a slot. We can adjust this up and down. And what that does is it changes the relationship of your step of your pressure feet. So if you want to have a, a little bit larger step to be able to run over heavier goods, uh, or, or more seams, you can adjust this. Generally speaking, we set it at a medium spot. It works perfect, but there is an adjustment here for your climbing device or your step. That's it.